Borobudur Temple is a Buddhist temple which is located in Majulang, central Java, not far from the Yogyakarta city. Its existence is not only popular in the national level, but also at international level. This amazing historical relic is so special. How the stones are arranged and formed in such a way as to form a building with high artistic value. It is not surprising that apart from Prambanan Temple, Borobudur has always been a tourist destination for both domestic and foreign tourists. Until now, Borobudur Temple still stands majestically and charmingly without showing its senility. Borobudur Temple is a Buddhist temple which is located in Majalang, central Java, not far from the Yogyakarta city. Its existence is not only popular in the national level, but also at international level. This amazing historical relic is so special. How the stones are arranged and formed in such a way as to form a building with high artistic value. It is not surprising that apart from Prambanan Temple, Borobudur has always been a tourist destination for both domestic and foreign tourists. Until now, Borobudur Temple still stands majestically and charmingly without showing its senility. Amazing facts about Borobudur Temple For those of you who are curious about the Borobudur Temple, here are some important and interesting facts you need to know, which are 1.12 centuries old until now, Borobudur Temple is estimated to be around 12 centuries or 1200 years old. This is supported by some discoveries which state that the construction of this temple began in the 8th or 9th century AD. 2. We neglected some historical evidence states that the existence of this great temple was neglected. This happened around the 14th or 15th century AD, when Hindu Buddhist civilization began to decline in Indonesia. This year also marks the entry of Islam to Indonesia. 3. Cultural property theft before being completely restored and preserved, the great Borobudur temple was the target of irresponsible people. They take Buddha statues to sell to antique collectors or to museums. Many parts of the temple were lost and diminished as a result of these looters. That is why many Buddha statues are headless. 4. Exhibited at Thailand Museum Apart from theft, the loss of statues and artifacts at Borobudur Temple could not be separated from the intervention of the Dutch East Indies government. In 1896, the King of Thailand visited Indonesia and expressed his intention to have several parts of the statue from this temple. The request was approved by the Dutch East Indies government. Finally, five statues of Buddha, 30 stones with reliefs, two statues of lions, stone-shaped kala, stairs and gates, statues of Dwarapala guards were brought to Thailand. 5. Twice Restoration Borobudur Temple has undergone two restoration works to maintain its integrity. The first renovations were carried out in around 1907 and 1911. However, due to limited costs, the restoration could not be done optimally. This first restoration found several missing Buddha head statues, dismantled and rebuilt the three terraces and the peak stupa. The second restoration was carried out in 1960-1973 with more intensively to protect this historical monument. The Indonesian government and UNICEF are jointly undertaking a major repair project to strengthen and repair all parts of the temple. That said, this project cost nearly $7 million. 6. Included in the list of World Heritage Sites in 1991, Borobudur Temple was designated as one of cultural objects from the past or World Heritage Site. This temple is a cultural object that represents a creative and genius human masterpiece. 7. Once a bomb target on January 21, 1985, Borobudur Temple was targeted by a bomb that destroyed nine stupas and two Buddha statues. The perpetrator of this bombing was a Muslim preacher named Hasin Ali al Habsi. The background to this bombing was not reported in a clear and focused manner. Several sources stated that the problems ranged from religious conflicts, conflicts of interest and many more issues. 8. Rocked by the earthquake but stands still Borobudur Temple was also rocked by an earthquake measuring 6.2 Richter scale on May 27, 2006. Even though the Yogyakarta earthquake almost destroyed the surrounding area, this Buddhist temple remained firmly standing without any slightest move. 